Less than four months into the year, and there have already been more than 100 mass shootings in the U.S. Channel 8's Shatine Tinsley has more on how local partnerships are making sure staff and students stay ready for emergency threats. Shatine? That's right, Rod, and safety threats are more real than ever. And Lincoln Littles has implemented an emergency notification system that's the first of its kind in the nation. It's geared toward helping child care programs develop emergency safety strategies that are currently used in Lincoln Public Schools. Here's how it works. Child care providers are notified of emergency threats from a text alert system. They then identify the child care centers that could be impacted. After that, they push out text to those child care centers so the centers can begin taking next steps. They get a call from the Lincoln Police Department that lets them know there's an active threat in a specific area. This emergency notification system all started from a police officer's death in 2020. A few years ago, when we had the officer involved shooting with Officer Herrera, we had child care centers that were in very close proximity that had children on the playground playing, and those child care centers did not get notified that there was an emergency in the area. And so while our schools in the area went into a safety protocol with a lockdown or a secure, our child care centers still had children out on the playground. Child care providers are learning the same safety protocols taught in Lincoln Public Schools. And just this week, Lincoln Littles held a two-hour training session to implement the safety techniques for different threat levels. But that safety system doesn't end there. The next part involves identifying safety protocols for various threat levels. Depending upon what's going on in the community, it could be where they would just hold in place. So basically they wouldn't move from room to room. Um, it could be if there was an immediate threat in the community, they may do a secure and so they would lock the building. And so no inside or outside um, um, visitors would be allowed in the building. And then if it's um, a lockdown, then there's like an immediate danger on the campus or in the building, then they would actually lock down and get out of sight. Lincoln Littles says these annual trainings will help children stay safer by giving them the tools they need to react calmly and quickly in emergency situations. Schneider says she is grateful to the partnerships that helped facilitate these emergency response trainings. The Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department emergency response team has been critical in this work. They have supplied the funding that it costs to put on these trainings and they also have uh, provided giveaways for the child care centers. Things like emergency uh, radios and lanterns, emergency evacuation backpacks for the child care centers to use. And without their support, this work would simply not be happening. Snyder says these drills will continue and they're going to have them quarterly at the Malone Center. All right, Jatine, thank you so much for that report.